First of all, I want to show you how to indicate the bony landmarks. This is the clavicle that goes horizontally. And the lateral tip of the clavicle, there lies AC joint, acromioclavicular joint. And just below the outer one third of the clavicle, we can indicate the coracoid process. Just one inch lateral from the coracoid process, we can indicate a tender spot around the subscapularis. In fact, the subscapularis muscle goes like this, like a fan shape. So we have to indicate the most tender point around the tendon. But basically, most of the tendon problem in the subscapularis happens superiorly of the whole of the whole tendon. So we can indicate the right tender spot, a superior part of the subscapularis tendon. And I want to show you how I did acupuncture. So in this patient, I indicated tender spot around this area. And then I put three needles above the point and three other needles below the point surrounding the tender spot. Additionally, I want to show you another case of shoulder pain who was treated with the same treatment points with electroacupuncture. Speaking of intensity, I recommend you to go as high as possible up to the level the patient can endure. And this patient was extremely tolerable about the acupuncture and the stimulation, so I uh, made about 6 or 7 level out of 10. Through these two cases, I shared with you how to treat the tendon of the subscapularis tendon. This is really helpful for the subscapularis tendinitis or tendinosis or pa partial tear of the subscapularis tendon. I hope this video will be helpful to you. Thank you.